What's up everybody? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. So we're getting ready to head out. I got a trainer driver this week. So hot shotting. This ain't been so hot lately. So um, we're still doing it, but it's always safe to be able to do everything. So I want all my drivers to be um, where they can do it all. Like I want them, if they need to jump in the truck and jump in the truck, if they can jump, you know, run their hot shot pickup and run the pickup. But no matter what, I want them to be able to do. Ah, come on, dude. Yeah, it takes a man to lift one of these. That's why I'm having such a hard time. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right, so we are going to take the W9, drive this old girl to Florida and pick up a big old gigantic boat. And the only thing Steve hasn't done for me is haul big boats. So I'm gonna take him on a trip with me and uh, teach him how to do it. I see a little bit of something right there. I still haven't found that noise. I don't know what the heck it is. You can see there ain't no exhaust leak on it. Unless the head's leaking somewhere, which is a possibility. These things are known for leaking. So, hmm, I see a little bit of an exhaust leak back there. But I don't think that's where our noise is at. I'm going to change that clamp anyway before we leave. But right now I'm going to check this ool. There it is. So guys, I put this Amsoil in here and we put this truck back together. And I probably put 35,000 miles on it, I guess. 30, 35,000. I just had an analysis ran on it. And it is still good to go. They said do not change it. So I'm going to check it, make sure it's full, and then we're going to fire this thing up and let it build some air. Kids ain't too happy, Daddy's leaving. You'll get some clothes on, you two. Whew. It's like the chickens are over there getting off. They're growing up. Them two there are mean to the little chickens, so we had to take them out today. What are y'all messing with? Is there a cat under there? There's a cat somewhere or something. Video's almost uploaded, 94%. This is the longest it's ever taken to upload a video. You didn't make any kids lunch for tomorrow? Yeah, yeah. Really? Isn't it cute? Look, no. This is for Emmy and Hub because they have snack time. The boys don't. Like, they just open this little thing right here. And they got snackies. That should be nice. Mom, can you order these? Why? Take care of you too. Mom, I'll make me one of those then. You want me to make you one? Alright, so tell me what I'm picking up. I'm gonna make sure I take the right stuff. Hey, I'm pulling. Hey, Emmy, I'm busy. You're picking up a 34 main ship. Is it convertible or what year is it? This is 2005 with a question mark on Me and Sage been arguing for 10 minutes on what truck to take. He loves the W9 though. I am in love with the W9. I like my freight liners. I love the W9 too, but I just I really like this truck as well. That's my dream too. I've never been paid. Uh, okay, we're taking the W9. You win, Steve. But I'll roll in whatever you want. You win. We're already got a high fun hook now. As long as you keep writing checks, I'll drive with the W9. All right. We're already half on hook now, Steve. Actually, we are in hook. Thank you. All right, guys, so we ended up taking the W9. Yeah. Steve won. <laughs> it, didn't, it didn't take a lot of convincing, but we did do a lot of work on it before we left. We ended up changing exhaust clamps, fixing the fan. Um, what 
else we do to it? Bearing up tire. Yeah, we, we're still having tire issues. The wheel's still not sealing up front. It's not a bad leak, but it's enough for to bother me. So, made sure we had 110 PSI on that. And then, cleaned up the train wreck in the truck. Yep. Oh, my God. The truck was a disaster. So, other people's been driving the truck besides me, and all my stuff was scattered everywhere. So, but... We're making it. We're in Atlanta right now. We're actually rolling through the center. These two idiots are here quit drag racing. Got a V6 Charger versus a V6 Toyota, I guess. There's a V6 Camaro in front of it. All right, guys. So Steve's going to take over now. This will be his first time driving the W9. Other than just the cab over, he don't really drive a lot of big trucks. So... Um, uh, we're doing our pre-trip, his first pre-trip. <laughs> Everything looks good, lights are good, tag lights, uh, metal secure. Them pretty wheels. So we sandblasted all them, put new tires on it. No air leaks. So we are trying out a new set of tires. These are uh, fork, fork, they're 18 ply. Because you can't really get these anymore. If you can, they're six, seven hundred dollars. So these have been doing good. This made a lot of trips to California so far without any issues. All the lights work. Everything's good. All right, here we go. Steve's first time driving the W9. Put me on I'm, put, oh, like I'm that, putting huh? you right up on front street. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the, uh, uh, yeah, that, it, that's a, it's a low rider. You're pretty much there. I'm pretty much there. You can't drive a big hood truck with a seat up. All right, we got to go over the rule book. You're driving a W9. You have to sit your seat all the way in the back. All the way down where you can't see over the hood. You, can't, you ain't even supposed to be able to see the road good. Okay, so I need to sit in the bunk. Yeah. So go right. back there in the bunk. Drive from back there. You have to look cool. Above all else. That's uh, that's really the only rules. Is you have to look cool. You have to be an outlaw. That's, Do I need to get my shades? Yeah. In the middle of the night? Yep. That's the right. on. Get, get all that set up. Um, throw your log book in the bag. You don't even need that anymore. I thought you told me to bring three. Okay, yeah, well, well, we'll talk logbooks off camera. Oh, okay. Um, 3,000 RPMs, jack brake on. Between every gear, you got to make sure to pop it twice. Uh, that's pretty much. Okay. You got it? Look cool, sound cool. Got it. Got it. All right, here we go, guys. I'm just kidding about the jack brake. <laughs> you were kidding about only the jack brake? Only the jack brake. <laughs> Are you ready? We're missing one thing. What are you missing? We'll get the toothpicks later. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I swear, guys, he did a preacher. <laughs> She's just like yours in the transmission. It is, except... A little bit tighter? Um, I'm used to having some slob. Yeah. It was really sloppy before I put the new transmission in. Now, this has got a lot more power than this. Yeah, it does. <laughs> oh, look at Steve already going through the gears. Oh, I like this way better than 10 speed. Oh, yeah, definitely. like it's got a lot of sway in it 
and that's where like it'll like if you try to drive this thing it'll take you all over the place if you just be comfortable just let it do its thing it'll drive like Cadillac Yep. Anyway, the first shift went pretty good. First time driving a W9. First time really driving a... Better than that guy. Yeah, definitely better than that guy up there. He's all over the road. <laughs> <laughs> I got me a little nap in. Other than about getting my neck broke. Steve had a Charlie horse pop up and grabbed hold of that foot brake up there while I was asleep. <laughs> Bounce off the oh man, it hurt. I was like, what the heck is he doing? I got up, I didn't see nothing. I was like, what the heck? Why is he brake checking me? His pedals are laid out a lot different than a cab over there. Yeah, they are. Oh yeah, it's easy to grab that foot brake. But anyways, guys, we're like 130, 140 miles out, so... Uh, get switched out here in a few minutes let Steve grab a nap so he can get some experience with loading a boat and then uh, we're gonna head back towards Tennessee I like a good, just old school ride like it right there. That's just a perfect look. Simple, clean, slick, sleek. Oh, I see energy drinks. Ooh. Or coffee, that's what I'm after. I mean, energy drink sounds good. It's just my coffee, though. <laughs> All right, there it is. Oh man, stretch the legs, drink the dinosaur. <laughs> Guys, we successfully made it to uh, not dying. Now, if I was to do my part, we'll be all right. We didn't die yet, right? All right. Winning. Hey, turn the fan on. Oh, that restaurant right there is amazing, by the way. Uh, we're gonna hit it hard. A little ground clearance, I know. Here we go. Oh, we made it.
getting in here is the trick. Getting out of here is really the trick. I think that's the meridian we brought down here right over there. All right, let's go check this mama out. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna make it fun. Yeah, I guarantee it. It's a, it's a pretty boat. She's a big one. It's a single screw boat, which means it's just got one straight prop shaft, which is also gonna make things fun. And it's wider than they said it was. This sucker's at least, I don't know, 13, 14 foot wide. Might be 12 and a half. Main ship, oh, it's a pilot. That's why. There she is, guys. Main ship pilot 34. Pretty boat. Oh, I love those right there. These are them world cats. Oh my gosh, they're so nice. I want one of these so bad. It don't make no sense where we live, but down here, this thing's probably a Cadillac on the water. Ooh, it's got the big XTO Yamaha's on it. Mm. Whew, boys, look at that rig. Look, that's a, that's a four million dollar boat. All day long, three, four million. But look at it. Look how wide. I bet this thing is so stable on the water. You know that thing's a beast. Yeah, I get excited over some boats. Sorry, guys. <laughs> look at that big cat, son. Woo! All right, so they're going to put that one in the slings. And then they're going to get us in here. So I got to go set the trailer up. And the problem is with this boat we're picking up, this main ship, is the way they sit on the trailer. Um, they got a really weird keel. And the fact that it's a single screw boat too, it's going to be kind of hard to get the trailer set up the way we want it. But I'm sure we'll get it loaded. Hadn't been able to not load one yet. There's some that I wish I hadn't loaded, but did. Look at that Pursuit, it's 36B. Or is that a 368? I'm not real familiar with the Pursuits. Now the HCBs, Hydrosports, um, we've hauled quite a few of those things and Pretty much like that right there, except the Hydra Sports are way bigger. I do like the Pursuits. We pulled a smaller Pursuit with like twin engines. That sucker was easy. Woo wee, that thing's sexy. It's got the big Yamaha's on it too, 350's. 1,050 horsepower. Look at this beast. I mean, seriously, look at this thing. So these lowers down here turn. The whole motor don't turn. It's the bottom of the boat that turns. It is so freaking badass. All right, guys, so time to set this trailer up. I already started pulling a lot of the stuff down. I guess I need to get my GoPros out so you guys can see what the heck we're doing here. 
And I'm trying to make sure that our camera is on the right settings. I don't know why the last video I put up, and it could be because I was in a bad spot when uploading, or the video before last, um, was really bad about lighting. The lighting was so bright, nobody could stand it. So, trying to make sure all of our settings are on point. These are nice trailers. I don't think we need to jump in and cool off a little bit. Probably will. Look at that big yacht going out through there. That's a little Dombo down here. It's a total different boat. You see the point, right? Yep. And it's like that all the way to the ass. So you're going to be sticking up. I don't know if all that shit comes down up there. We we'll make it work. Does. As um, long as we can get under 15 foot, I'm happy. Yes, sir. All right. Keep the ball. I, I was letting you know. That's all. I appreciate that. You're not wrong. Oh, I know. That's a lot of height. That's a lot of height. If I had new stands on this, it'd be my tallest stands because of the way that the shoulder stairs are going. different boat. Set it over top of the trailer and see where it's going to sit. Yeah. 
and then just go from there. Um, dang. How tall you think? 12? Solid. scared it is what it is that way the keel back here can sit uh, Definitely probably gonna have to just flip it around. You gotta flip around the other way, you only get a little bit more. Six inch foot. Yeah, if I could if I could put this front down in the all this crap right here though, down in the trailer. Yeah, I was thinking too bad these don't move the plates. What about your drum? Yeah. Hey, I'll remove them, man. I don't need the middle to fuck me right through. <laughs> it ain't my trailer to do that though. I know so. the guy that owns it. No, no, no. We can just uh Yeah, those are removable, it'd be a ticket. This ain't gonna be exactly accurate. I'm gonna let you know that. Oh, It's hitting 14 right there. And I don't know if I'll fall that top is unless I jump up there, you know? Yeah. It's curved in. We're cold, but I don't care. As long as we're at 14, I wouldn't really care. Yeah, but we gotta make sure the top top here. Hop up there. You got it? You can hop up there, one second. Okay. Yeah. You can uh, do it the other way around. Flip it. You think you're gaining enough? Yeah, I can see the front ain't tall, it's the back. Where it looks level above your head. Above your head. Or it's level with that gray. Still shoot down another, what, eight inches? And then you guys eyeball that from back there. 
Where are you at right there? Fourteen six. How's that look up there? Can you with it? Yeah. Yeah. So what you think? Was it fourteen six? Yes, sir. There's a beam. We got two pads set over here, which right here is the strongest part of the hole. Top, top. All right, we got wood there on the cross beam. Wood up here on the cross beam, which they won't be much weight on those. It'll mainly be up on the pads here in a minute. Well, I'll do like probably 60, 40. I'll put 40% on the wood, 60% on the pads. And over here, I'm doing like a 45. So we got wood there. Pad, pad, pad. That should be plenty to support this boat. We are 14.6 tall, but going from here to Tennessee, as long as you're under 15, 15, 5, you're good. So I could have brought a shorter trailer. It's a different boat than it was supposed to be. So it's kind of like an art. So we got a bunch of different metal we built. Um, this is a 45. Um, we just took two pieces of tube and weld them together. And the same thing here, just moves it out. And it, let's just put a quick loader in where we can put a pad in it. So that'll stick down in it and then pad to go up against it. Yeah, let me see that meter. 
I ain't moving this thing. This is where it stands. This is what's I, happening. I this like is, what you're doing. It ain't gonna shift sideways with that angle in there like yeah. that. And like we still got four to six thousand pounds still left on the boat. That'll come down on these pads. So. Give me all the weight. Yes, sir. You're ready, I'm ready. Oh. Y'all get hungry anyway. Me too. <laughs> It is 106 degrees outside. I'm about to die. There ain't enough water. I'm really thinking about taking a dip in that water. You ain't wrong. It's cool us off, wouldn't it? <laughs> Got a headache from me. Me too. But it is sitting on pads, it's sitting on the trailer. Now we gotta strap it, flag it, tag it, and uh... So how do you strap? Dude, look at that. Um, we've got to take carpet, wrap it around the straps. Get that. What do you uh, hook to? Just the back of the bow, like it. I usually strap from the front, pulling back, and the back pulling forward. There's really ain't many places to strap. Well, that's what I said, what's your attachment point? Just the bow line loop and... Yeah, something like... We'll just have to look and see where the attachments are on this one, but... There ain't much. I mean, once it's on them pads, it's pretty much there. Yeah. Straps are just there for DOT purposes. I'd haul it all the way home with those straps. Uh, with those angles on the back, I, I feel I'm really saying, comfortable. It, just, it can't go nowhere rolled it over it might come off if, if you rolled it over it really bad bad it off anyway. <laughs> all right guys so we're gonna cool off a little bit i am soaking wet and then uh get the rest of it done it's so hot man i'm about to do it yeah. like a stroke yeah
guys, that's the one thing that will ruin your trip is messing up that gel coat or messing up the hooks that you know you hook to up there. So that's your uh, tow line hooks or like docking hooks. You got to make sure and wrap them with tape really good. That way you ain't got to worry about them scratching the uh, hooks. So we had a sailboat one time. This thing was a piece of crap. The driver went and delivered it. Um, he's actually my Pete, and he hooked straight to those hooks up there, and uh, your tie down hooks. And it left, like, left a little mark on it. All he had to do is polish it out. The guy wanted me to knock off $3,500 just for the aggravate, which I get it. It's aggravate. You don't want your boat damaged. But this thing was junk, anyways. Like, they probably needed replaced. He was going to have to restore this whole boat. And, uh, I mean, it come down to where we knocked a lot of money off of it just to get it over with. It was crazy. What up, boss? What's that, brother? Oh, just a little warm. Yeah. How are you feeling? Um, more than a little warm, more than a little hungry, and more than a little tired. Yeah. Does that sum it up? More than a little dirty. Welcome to track. More than a little sweaty. Yeah. You don't want it to put pressure on that pad when it flexes right. up. When it flexes up and it just pops holding. Right. I know a guy that did that and it cost him his business. And, uh, all you had to do is just put the pad right. It can, it can cost you. It can be very, very, uh, uh, you know, it can be very rewarding or it can be very unrewarding cost you a lot of money. So there's a lot of liability that comes with pulling these boats. This thing is 150 grand, probably 100, 150 grand. We're putting all of our antennas down, dropping everything. We're trying to get as much hop as we can. Because we're right now, what, 14, 6, 14, 8? Yep. Almost 15 foot. So the more highs we can get, the better. And even if we took this thing down, it would still be, we'd have to take the windshields in it. So yeah, we're just rolling. I can handle 14.6, 14.8. I don't wanna go no taller than that though. All right, 
we got the flags on we're finishing up the flags now now that it ain't 108 degrees like steve said <laughs> i'm out here naked yeah <laughs> sorry you know all the click you have to use up the clickbait get the women to watch <laughs> Exactly. I should do that. I should just see if it works. <laughs> Damn, we put our wives on there today. You know? It went the whole different direction. We don't drive Volvos. We drive Kenworths and Peter Bills. Ain't no Volvo drivers here, buddy. Unless it's in white in front of it. Ooh, baby. She is strapped and... All I gotta do is throw my lights on. I love these magnets right here. They're my favorite things in the world. Heck yeah. I will say I feel much better about having the center strap. We were kind of hesitant because we do have, these are 6,000 pound um straps so that definitely covers away the boat but with just that extra one in the middle um we put it with the pad that way it still gets its flex in the middle so heck yeah i feel good about it don't you i a couple zip ties just to make sure this carpet doesn't beat the side of the boat yep i'm pretty proud of this load i'll be proud of it when we get it there I can't wait to send Dad a picture and be like, oh, I'll check this beauty. I mean, me and Dad, we definitely take pride in loading because, you know, I mean, it, it's a good feeling when you deliver one of these. You know, especially once you get it loaded and you move it out of the parking lot and it sits there, it don't do it because it's either going to bobble or it's going to feel solid or it's going to feel smooth like it did when we pulled out. We, uh, it's definitely a lot more interesting than pulling a single boat on a boat trailer. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yep. Or loading a heavy machine up and throwing four chains on it and binders. and Maybe, yeah. yeah. All right, guys. So she's loaded up. The truck's outfitted. All we like is putting our lights on the truck. We're going to put our dual uh, flashing amber lights on the breather, even though we just need one for Florida and Georgia. Um, throw one on the trailer. We'll be good to go. I think she's going to ride, but you guys are going to have to wait till the next video to see just how good it does. And uh, thanks for coming with us and loading with us today. And golly bum, I don't know how hot it was for you guys, but it was freaking <laughs> hot for <laughs> us. I saw 113 at one point on the trip. I wish I could just go on and watch it on the couch and, yeah. and sit there and drink my whiskey or my Coke or my beer. No, you don't. Like, wow. You I'm, love it. Yeah, I do. I love it, actually. You're right. Yeah, but I wouldn't trade this for the world, actually. Guys, I freaking love doing this crap. So, anyways, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, we're going to try to get this thing home and get it put in the water and see if we can go rip on it a little bit and see how good it runs. It's got a 12 valve in it. So, well, that, I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah. Oh, dude, that motor is sick. It's got a big old turbo on it. So, anyways, guys, we'll see you later. Love y'all. Take it easy. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Leave us a com comment because so, we like reading the comments and definitely turn on that bell notification.